Hey everyone, it's Mark. It is August 18th, 2016, and it's really late. It's like 9.30 p.m. I just got back from Feast in Honolulu. As you can see, I'm in a high-rise and there's lights outside, so this is not Molokai. And um, I just wanted to show you my packing video that I made this earlier today. Um, there's some things I forgot to put in there, but I'll talk about that after the video. So here's the video of my packing for today. Okay, so let's take a look specifically at what I'm going to be packing. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is talk about the things that I'm going to be wearing while I'm traveling. Uh, these are things I'm going to wear today as I get onto the plane. The first thing, of course, is a t-shirt. Uh, just a simple t-shirt, nothing too fancy. Um, I'm going to also have a pair of uh, black pants. These are also the only pants I'm bringing uh, along with me. And, of course, a pair of socks. These are also the only socks I'm bringing. They're darn toughs. They're really good, thick socks, um, very sturdy. And a pair of underwear, which I'll be wearing. And uh, I'll also be taking a hat for sun protection, a pair of sunglasses, and a belt for the pants. Finally, the shoes I'm wearing are these Merrells, and they're really good. They're good for just general walking. I can wear them with or without socks, so they don't uh, blister very easily. Uh, they're waterproof and they're just really good all-around shoes. They also can dress up and dress down equally. Next I'm going to talk about the clothes that I'll be packing that I'm not wearing on the plane. The first item of course is a second pair of underwear uh, followed by these shorts. Now these shorts uh, are also swim shorts but they're also athletic shorts and I can just wear them casually too or I can wear them uh, as pajamas so they're very versatile. I can wear them for a lot of things. Next is this button-down shirt that's very versatile as well, very comfortable. This is a no-sleeve t-shirt uh, that goes well underneath other clothes or just by itself. This is a Mosino, Mosimo, I think it's Mosimo v-neck uh, dark gray t-shirt. And those are all the shirts I'm taking. I also have this red uh, skull cap type thing, but it's really good for if I'm going to be walking a long distance. I know I'm going to be sweating a lot. This is very helpful for that. It keeps the sweat out of my eyes and off of my uh, shirt and face. And finally, this rain jacket. Now I know you're thinking that looks really heavy and thick and warm for Hawaii. And actually it's pretty thin. It's an REI rain jacket um, and it's not too bulky. It packs down very small, but it's really good because there are places on the islands that get a lot of rain. So it's very handy to have available and I have been happy that I had it with me on trips to Oahu before, especially where we'll be spending a lot of time up in the Pali Highway. It gets some decent rain up there, so I want to have some rain protection. So this is all the clothes that I'll be taking with me for the trip as well. Oh, and I almost forgot, I'll also be taking a pair of flip-flops just because you can't only wear shoes in Hawaii. It's Hawaii, you need flip-flops. So I thought I'd also mention what I would take if I was going to go and train wushu or train athletics where I was going, if I'm going to the gym or something like that. And essentially there's five additional things I would pack. I would pack one more pair of underwear, another pair of socks, a pair of athletic shorts, and a uh, dry fit t-shirt. These are both Adidas. And uh, a pair of Feiyu shoes. These Feiyus are really good because they're good for weightlifting, they're good for uh, general athletics and they're good for wushu or tai chi practice. So they're very versatile and I like taking them because they're small, they pack light and you can use them in a lot of situations. They're also machine washable and just these nice canvas shoes that you can wear in a lot of situations. I also figure a lot of people would ask me, well, what would you take if you're going to travel for a longer term? What if you're going to travel around the world? So I thought I'd show you a few items I would take with me if I was going to travel to other types of climates, colder climates, maybe year-round travel. These are the additional clothing items I would take with me. So this is a uh, Uniqlo down vest. It's very warm. It's pure down and it packs up really small into this little package you can see right here. Um, it's great. I've taken it with me to a lot of places and it really has uh, been a lifesaver when it gets cold. Next, these are a pair of merino wool long johns. They actually go pretty good underneath a pair of shorts too. They don't look too strange. 
and they're obviously merino wool is very good fabric i had a pair of merino wool tops but they just didn't fit well at all next i would also take a long sleeve t-shirt just as an added layer of warmth for the for the arms my arms tend not to get too cold my hands do sometimes and my torso can get cold but my arms generally are fairly warm all the time so i would take this as an additional layer of protection also just good to have another t-shirt um, for longer trips and this is a thin uniquilo sweater just another layer it also adds a little bit of dressiness i can put it over my dress shirt um, as an another sort of warmer layer of uh, dress uppiness if that's a word that i just made up and it's very handy to have as well and finally i know this doesn't look like a very minimalist thing to take but this blazer um, or sport jacket has actually been very helpful to me in a lot of situations sometimes a sport jacket just over a t-shirt and a pair of jeans just really dresses things up nicely uh, this was custom made i had this made in beijing it cost me like i don't know 40 or 50 bucks for a tailor-made jacket very cheap and it's lasted me several years and it fits perfectly and um, i take it with me on longer trips because you never know when you need to be in a situation where you should dress up okay so this is everything i would additionally take on a trip if i was going for a longer term which again is not that much stuff and this would even uh, this on top of my other things would fit in my backpack so it's still within the realm of a one bag travel situation okay so next we'll get into toiletries my toiletries again are pretty minimal um, i'll just go around this uh, group of things uh, from the top left and clockwise so we have a stick of deodorant i might opt for a different one this is the only one i have right now and it's getting down towards the end so i'll use this one up maybe on this trip but uh, a roll-on would be fine too i don't use spray deodorants and but this stick of deodorant is, just works fine it lasts for months for me uh, next is shaving cream and a razor if i was really working to minimize space i wouldn't take the shaving cream and i might not take the razor because you can pick up disposable razors just about anywhere you go so i would pick one up in my destination next is also is a body spray sort of a uh, like a man perfume type thing uh, this is also optional but i think it it's nice uh, when you <laughs> want to smell better and then you have these two uh, little containers one has mouthwash in it which is also optional but i like to have and the other one has uh, body soap in it this one is dr brahmer's which i still have left over from my last trip to the to uh, california and washington state uh, but this dr brahmer's is great actually you could even use it as toothpaste you can use it for everything and then i have my little pack that all this fits in on the bottom right you see the snore rx this is a little mouth guard that i put in my mouth at night it helps open up my lower jaw so it's easier to sleep helps the quality of my sleep a lot it prevents me from snoring too much uh, next to that are some Effredent tablets that I use to clean the snore guard. And then I have a toothbrush. This one is a vibrating toothbrush, which I like. And uh, some Tom's toothpaste next to that. Uh, I could take a smaller tube of toothpaste. Again, toothpaste is something you can pick up where you're going, so you don't really need it. A lot of these things, aside from the snore guard and the toothbrush, I think everything else I don't need to take with me if I don't need it. So I could go down to just those two things. Uh, and then I love, have a little hand towel here because that's really handy to have. And the green thing is actually a cup that folds down into that small disc shape. So I use this to soak my mouth guard in or as a cup to rinse my mouth out, things like that. Sometimes it's nice to have an extra cup around. Uh, you'd be surprised how often I wish I had a cup. So this is that cup. And all of these things fit into this little package right here along with the toothbrush next to it in the container now also um, if i did have hair right now which i don't and i wanted to use product i would probably take this which is a small container of pomade or like hair mud wax type thing um, and this little container would last me months literally and i could just get a new one whenever i need to so next up we're going to talk about electronics and things i need for work the first thing, of course, I need for work is my laptop. This is a 13-inch MacBook Air, circa 2015. It's a great little computer, and I use it for all my work stuff. Uh, of course, I need charging cables with my laptop, so I have my 
um, adapter here along with an extension cord because oftentimes when you're working in a coffee shop or a hotel or a co-working space you need a little extension on the cord so it can reach the outlets. Then I have a Bluetooth keyboard along with my Wacom tablet that I use for designing. I don't have a mouse, I use the tablet. Um, it's much easier for what I do for my work. And I have a Roost laptop stand. This little thing actually uh, is really cool. I'll try and find a picture of it to include here, but it's um, it allows me to keep my laptop up at head level on a table. So I use the, the keyboard and the tablet to do my manipulation on the screen, but the laptop is actually up pretty high and it helps with my um, posture. Then I have a few smaller things. This is a four port USB um, wall adapter. And next to that you see two uh, iPhone cables. One is a longer standard white cable and there's a smaller one that I'll use oftentimes when I, I'm just uh, using my laptop quickly and I wanna charge my phone next to it. Then I have the uh, headphone cables there in the upper, the top of the image, as well as the cable for the Wacom tablet, which I need, it's a USB cable. And finally, I have two hard drives. One is a working uh, backup drive, and the other is uh, an archive of files that I need on this trip uh, for some things I'm doing. Uh, but usually I would just take one hard drive. Then uh, after that, I have a few other small items on the very top. I have an external USB memory stick. I have a little battery charger for my iPhone uh, or for ex external peripherals. I have a little uh, clip that goes into air vents on cars when I'm driving a car and I need my phone for directions and Google Maps. I put that up there. It works really well. And I also have a small car charger that has come in handy as well. Sometimes when I'm renting a car, those are really good to have. So that's everything. Those all fit in that little pouch and all of this um, is what I use for work. Of course, I also have a, a notepad and a pen, a retractable Sharpie, and a highlighter, just to have those handy. Those also are very convenient. And all of that will pack together. Now the bag I'm using is a GORUCK, I believe it's a 21 liter backpack, which you can see here. Um, it's really nice, it opens up all the way, so kind of like a suitcase opening, which a lot of backpacks do now because it's easier than doing the top-loading backpack. It also has the sleeve against your back for the laptop and other things. So I'm going to pack this up and you can see how it all fits in the bag. Hey there, so, oh my gosh, I really need a haircut. <laughs> the sides are getting crazy. So, um, a few things I forgot to mention. Actually, I ended up bringing some different stuff. You can see right down here uh, that there is a guitar case, and I put the Wushu stuff in there, uh, which fits really nicely. I also brought a sleeping bag, and my travel pillow, and a um, one or two other things, but everything still fit in the backpack. So. Um, it all fit, it's all packed away, and um, uh, one of these days I'll, I'll put together a better list of the things I would take with me. But uh, basically everything fit, it even got a sleeping bag in there. Let me show you the sleeping bag. This is the sleeping bag, it's tiny. I got it at um, Decathlon in China, but it's great sleeping bag. It's tiny, right? And um, I have a uh, microfiber towel and some other stuff. But anyway, I have to get to bed. I could put this up online for you guys. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves and keep on keeping on. See ya.